Good morning everyone! Welcome in our Health Education Quarter 3, Week 3. Health is most often being related to solely the physical well-being of an individual. Little do people know that health is more than looking healthy. As we learned in the previous modules, health has various dimensions. Physical health, emotional health, we have mental health, social health, moral, spiritual health, and environmental health. Aside from looking healthy, an individual must also be feeling, thinking, and interacting healthy to achieve wellness. This topic will focus on your mental and emotional health. It will help you to be aware of how your health is affected with the way you think and feel. Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also determines how we handle stress, relate to others, and make choices. Emotional health means you are aware of your emotions. You can deal with them, whether they are positive or negative. Do you think stress is always something negative? Actually, stress can either be negative or positive. Stress is defined as the psychological or physical and emotional responses to a significant or unexpected change or disruptions in one's life. Stressor refers to the things that make a person stressed. There are two different kinds of stress. First, we have eustress. It refers to a positive and healthy response of the body from a stressor. It produces good effects to one's well-being. For example, a person who studied for long hours then tool and got an outstanding grade in the exam may feel happiness and enjoyment. Second, distress. It refers to a negative reaction of the body towards a given stressor. It may cause problems in health, alter the mood and emotions, and even affect the way of a person woke up late for work, he or she may feel anger and disappointment. Is stress normal and inevitable? Yes, stress is normal and inevitable. Every day we experience different kinds of stress. Some are good and some are not. That no one is spared from experiencing stress because it is part of our lives. The effects of stress in your body. Stress is any change in the environment that requires your body to react and adjust in response. The body reacts to these changes with physical, mental, and emotional responses. Some sources of stress for teens include the following. School's demands and frustrations. Negative thoughts or feelings about themselves. Changes in their bodies. Problems with friends and or peers at school. Unsafe living environment or neighborhood. Separation or divorce of parents. Chronic illness or severe problems in the family. Death of loved one. Moving or changing schools. Taking on too many activities or having too high expectations. Family financial problems. Emotionally healthy people still feel stress, anger, and sadness but they know how to manage their negative feelings. These are ways to improve or maintain good emotional health. Be aware of your emotions and reactions. Express your feelings in appropriate ways. Think before you act. Manage stress. Strive for balance. Take care of your physical health. Connect with others. Find your purpose and meaning. And stay positive. Remember, staying healthy in mind and body is essential, especially in this current state of the world. Taking good care of ourselves can help us move from simply getting through to thriving and growing during these unusual times. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something today. Goodbye class!